Hello everyone, today, we're delving into a critical realm of healthcare that affects millions of lives every day, the world of medications. From ensuring the right treatment to preventing harmful mistakes, we'll explore the essential concepts of rational use of drugs, medication errors, adverse drug reactions, and medication administration using the aid rights. In this video, we'll uncover the importance of making informed choices when it comes to medications, the impact of medication errors on patient safety, how to recognize and manage adverse drug reactions, and the fundamental eight rights that guide healthcare professionals in safe and effective medication administration. So whether you are a healthcare provider, a patient, or simply someone curious about medication safety, stay tuned. We are about to embark on a journey that will empower you with knowledge and tools to navigate the complex world of pharmaceuticals safely and responsibly. Let's get started. Hello everyone, myself Naved Akhtar. My topic is rational use of drugs. Let's understand the term rational use of drugs. Rational use of drugs means using medication in a way that maximize their benefits while minimizing potential harm. It involves prescribing, dispensing, and administering drugs based on evidence-based guidelines. Considering factors like the patient's condition, the diet drug, the correct dose, and the most suitable route and duration of treatment. When there is a deviation from rational drug use, medication errors often occurs. Let's understand the topic, medication error. Hello everyone, this is Sakib Haidar. My topic is medication error. Let's understand the term medication error. A medication error is any preventable event that may cause or lead to inappropriate medication or uh, patient harm while the medication is in control of the healthcare professional client consumer. A medication error is a failure in the treatment process that may have the potential to harm the patient. Now what are the causes of medication error? General causes of medication error are inadequate availability of patient information and clear communication unclear prescription, use of too many abbreviations, look like, sound alike, drugs, LASA is one of the most common cause of medication error. For example, Livozin, Livozin. Both drugs are look alike, but the uh, composition are completely different. Next is overload, lack of concentration, wrong dose calculations. In postology, there are many basic formulas to calculate the dose. If any error in the calculations, ultimately it will lead to medication error. Now what types of medications error are reported? Common types of medication error are reported as prescription error, transcription error, indent error, dispensing error, administration error, documentation error. Now some categories of errors are no error, capacity to cause error, error that does not reach the patient, error that can cause temporary harm, some error can cause permanent harm, some error can result in death. For the awareness of medication error, students of various semesters of Canberra School of Pharmacy perform skit and nukkar natak in communities and public places. At last, medication error can lead to adverse drug reaction that is ADR. Let's understand the topic ADR. Hello everyone, myself Riaz. Today my topic is ADR. ADR stands for adverse drug reaction. According to World Health Organization, a response to a drug which is noxious and intended and which occurs at doses normally used for the profile axis diagnosis or therapy of disease or for the modification of physiologic function. ADR can be classified on the basis of types of reaction, onset of event and depending on the severity. Now classification of ADRs depending upon the types of reaction. Type A stands for augmented which is dose related. Its features is predictable. Example is bleeding with warfarin and management is reduced dose or withhold drug. Types B stands for bigger, which is non-dose related. Its feature is unpredictable and its example is anaphylaxis to penicillin and management is drug withhold and avoid in future. Type C stands for chronic, which is dose related and time related. Its features is related to the cumulative dose and its example is osteonecrosis of the jaw with bisphosphonates and its management is reduced dose or use and alternate therapy. Type D stands for delayed which is time related. Its feature is usually dose related and its example is 
tardive dyskinesia and its management is often intractable. Types E stands for end of use which is related to drug withdrawal and its feature is occurs after withdrawal of some drug and its example is withdrawal of benzodiazepines and it causes insomnia anxiety and its management is reintroduce drug and withdraw slowly types f stands for failure which is related to unexpected failure of therapy and its feature is often caused by drug interactions and its example is resistant to antimicrobial agents and its management is increase doses now second classification of adr is onset of event acute less than 60 minute sub acute 1 hours to 24 hours and latent more than 2 days now third classification of adrs depending upon the severity first one is minor adrs second one is moderate adr third one is severe adrs and fourth one is lethal minor adrs no therapy antidote or prolongation of hospitalization is required moderate adrs requires change in drug therapy a specific treatment or prolongs hospital stay by at least one day severe adrs potentially life threatening causes permanent damage or requires intensive medical treatment lethal directly or indirectly contributes to the death of the patients we can monitoring adrs in following steps first one is detection of adverse drug reaction second one is documentation of adverse drug reaction and third one is reporting serious adrs to pharmacovigilance centers and fourth one is assessing causality between drugs and suspected reaction now reporting an adr who can reports all healthcare professional like clinician dentist pharmacist nurses etc and non healthcare professionals including consumers can report suspected adverse drug reaction where to report adrs suspected adverse drug reaction reporting form can be sent to the nearest adverse drug reaction monitoring center that is called as amc or directly to the national coordination center ncc and also call on helpline to report adrs or uh, or can directly mail this field form to the pharmacovigilance center what to report adr report serious adverse drug reaction a reaction is serious when the patient outcome is life threatening hospitalization disability and report non serious adverse reaction a non non frequent or rare adverse drug reaction due to medicine vaccines and herbal products adrs can be managed by following steps 70% of adrs are potentially avoidable by patient counseling by better communication by consider risk factors for adrs by more rational prescribing by better monitoring of treatment some recently reported adrs country oman drug vericonazole therapeutic action antifungal reported adr hepatotoxicity and neurological adverse effect that is called hallucination and confusion second country zimbabwe drug efavirenz and sequinavir therapeutic action antiviral reported adr gynecomastia now the topic is effective medication administration for effective medication administration we use eight rights medication administration with the eight rights is an important process to make sure you are giving the right medication to the right person in the right way here are the eight rights first one is right patient make sure you are giving the medication to the correct person by checking their name and date of birth second one is right medication check the medication level to ensure it's the right drug and it matches the prescription third one is right dose measure or count the medication carefully to give the correct amount as prescribed by the doctor fourth one is right route administer the medication using the correct method such as swallowing a pill or injecting if needed fifth one is right time give the medication at the scheduled time as prescribed not too early or too late sixth one is right documentation 
record the medication administration accurately including the time dose and any reactions now the seventh one is right to refuse respect the patient's choice to refuse medication but inform the healthcare team if this happens and the eighth one is a right education educate the patient about the medication including its purpose potential side effects and how to take it properly following these eight rights help ensure the safe and effective use of medication thanks for watching for more informative videos please subscribe the channel